If you like what you're hearing on the phillytech.org netcast network, please consider supporting the network with a small monthly donation via patreon.com slash phillytechorg. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash p-h-i-l-l-y-t-e-c-h-o-r-g. And thank you in advance. You're listening to the Nutrition Philly Podcast your host, Brittany Kennedy, on the phillytech.org netcast network. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Nutrition Philly podcast. Uh, This is episode number five, and I'm here by myself again which is totally fine, Uh, but I figured this month, uh, now officially being December, that uh, I'd really just focus on holiday survival techniques uh, because, like I mentioned in the last podcast, obviously Thanksgiving was last week, you know, we talked about proper portioning and all that stuff, but after Thanksgiving comes a million other, you know, events and holidays, whichever holiday you celebrate, um, because there's a ton of them, so it doesn't matter which religion you are and whatever holiday you celebrate, there's always food and drinks at all of these events. So everyone, you know, has a common denominator here. So I wanted to talk today about how to survive your holiday parties, uh, because obviously we have a lot of them coming up. And there's kind of three key things I want to talk about today that I think will just make it a little bit easier um, with every event that you go to this season. So, uh, Surviving holiday parties. Here we go. So, first kind of tip for you today. Uh, Bring a healthy dish. The biggest issue people face when they show up at these parties is that everything that is there that is an option to eat is some sort of starchy item. So, you have your chips and your dip and your rolls and your cookies and your pies and your pastas and whatever's there. You know, and a lot of times people ask me, well, what am I supposed to eat at these things because there's nothing there to eat? Well, the easiest way to solve that is bring your own dish, right? So you can bring a million different things. You have your veggie tray, fruit tray, super easy. Um, You can even pick them up at the store. You don't even have to put them together. Um, Shrimp cocktail, that's a super easy one. Everyone loves that. Uh, Super healthy, too. Cheese trays, also a really good option. Um, And... You can even do meatballs. Uh, people, for some reason, think meatballs aren't the great, aren't a great option, but they really are. You know, put them in a crock pot, take them over, um, and easy protein. So, first tip: bring a healthy dish. Second tip: survey your options. So again, you're going to show up at these events, and there's going to be a million different things there that you can choose from. Um, so, in order to not overload your plate and make sure that you're eating you know, a proper amount, make sure you look at everything first. So I tell clients all the time, start at the beginning of the table, work your way all the way to the end, figure out what you actually want, and then put your plate together. Um, And when you put your plate together, think about what we talked about in our last podcast. Um, 50% of your plate being vegetables, quarter of it being starch, quarter of it being protein. But if you take the time to actually see what's there first, um, you'll be able to better construct your plate and not have too much of one or the other. Lastly, my favorite, drink responsibly. So it's inevitable that there's going to be some sort of alcohol at these events that we go to. Um, And if you don't drink, kudos to you, makes this really easy, Uh, but a lot of people do. So I'm not talking about not drinking too much, but I'm talking about kind of picking and choosing your drinks wisely. You know, if you're having a beer, try to stick to your light beer. If you're not a light beer fan and you like your heavier beers, your IPAs, your lagers, you know, all of those different things, try to stick to one or two as opposed to maybe four or five. You know, wine's always obviously a good option. And then anytime you're drinking liquor, watch what you're mixing with it. Don't ever mix your alcohol with juice. It just adds a ton of sugar, um, it just a bunch of stuff you don't need. So easy things to mix with, mix with soda water, tonic water. Um, if you really want to mix it with a soda, try to stick with a diet soda. Um, but soda water, tonic water are always the best. And you can always have it on the rocks uh, if you're really trying to party. So, um, you know, 
the biggest thing with the holidays coming up is that you want to remember that you just need to relax, you know, and have a good time. And don't overthink things, um, but don't kind of go without a plan either. You know, the, the idea with healthy living and learning how to manage these events is that you want to focus on this holiday season being better than last holiday season. doesn't mean it needs to be perfect, um, just needs to be better. You know, it's just being a little bit more mindful of how much you're putting on your plate. It's, you know, trying to bring a dish that's a little bit healthier as opposed to showing up with another crock pot of macaroni and cheese. Um, and then when it comes to your drinking, it's just being sensible, you know, and even alternating every alcoholic drink with a bottle of water. Not only is that safe, um, but you stay hydrated and you don't drink quite as much. So hopefully you guys will use these three tips when you're going to these holiday events this next month because uh, there are a lot of them. So hopefully um, these tips come in handy, and I'll be talking to you guys again soon. See ya.